All right, welcome back to the channel. It's week 12, we are 9-0, and and we take on Northern Illinois, who is 4-5. and We're ranked third in the nation. They're ranked 72nd. And as you can see, I mean, they're doing pretty well on offense this year, so their defense must be the problem because um, these are only showing offensive stats. So I'm just going to assume that their defense isn't doing that well this year. So we should be able to take them. You know, we haven't had any troubles with any of the max schools yet. And we're on regional television, so let's go out and get a big win. Yeah, as you can see there, um, you know, depending on how Toledo does against their MAC opponents, they're the only ones left that could potentially take the MAC West from us. There's Stevenson. Already got over 1,000 yards this year. Honestly, he would be up for the Heisman Award if he was getting all of our rushing touchdowns. But the fact that Ruiz has come in on a bunch of our drives when Stevenson has to get subbed out because he's tired. You know, he's taken away like eight touchdowns from him. We're gonna take the ball. I know I usually don't receive, but I've been doing a lot this year just because we're such heavy favorites. I wanna start out with, with some pop. But if we can break off like, you know, three, four yards here. Just like that. That's exactly what we needed. And that's a seven yard run. I just give it to Morris here, get a quick run up the middle. Great run. He's a tough runner. From the gun, we're gonna do a nice little draw here. Plenty of yards. Now we're gonna open up the the gunning part of our running gun offense. Open up the field here with a nice throw. I'm gonna try to hit Gay on a deep ball. Wow, how did he not get that off? I really thought I got it off before he got hit. Wow, what a grab. Oh my gosh. Really had nothing going on, just had to get rid of it right before I got hit. And Gay with an insane one ended. Wow. Nice little throw on the run there. We're just going to pound it in. I mean, we're in a goal line, like, set here. And we're just going to do what we do the best. Just punch it in. Huge hole. I mean, that would have went for 100 yards there. Look at that. Perfect. Saw a little pancake happen in that play, too. I wonder what lineman that was. I mean, they know they're going to have to beat us through the air. Almost every team that comes in, you know, in our matchup knows that our run defense is immaculate. And that's what they're going to have to do to get points on us. Come on, Ray. Dig, dig, dig. Couldn't get them. Well, that's exactly what I was saying. They knew they are going to have to beat us through the air. Their southpaw quarterback just lays in a butte right over our guy. Yeah, we went for the deflection. 
and he's able to turn and burn. I mean, he's got a lot of speed, that guy. So we're definitely just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Getting Stevenson involved whenever I can. I think we're gonna keep. They look like they're gonna blitz, but I think we're gonna keep the direct snap here. I think we're gonna get a good push. I'm gonna try to go between the center and the left guard. Perfect. But he loses the football. Oh my gosh, we got it. Oh mama, I should not be going no huddle right now. After a fumble, we should get under center, get in the huddle, have a chance to talk. But. Let me see if I can get one last play. Oh, reliable there, number 20. All right, guys, if we don't get this, I'd honestly, th I really would consider going for it. Oh, we got it. And we got it big. I'm going to try to hit Moran over the middle here, but honestly, anyone can get open. There's Becker. The QB draw. He's our powerful, you know, QB runner, and I think he's going to get it here. And there it is. Just following your blockers. Had the tight end and the halfback over there leading them. Great run. Didn't even expect it to go for a score, but, you know, obviously better than a first down. Oh, hits the kicker. No flag. Interesting. All right. You know, I'm, I'm not happy that Ward got shoved off, but the fact that we got a community of orange hats going to the football helps out. Let's see if they get this playoff. Yes, they do. And it works out for us. Good way to end the for first quarter there. Third and long. Blocked. And Moran with a good catch. We're hopping right back on the ball. Let's see, I'm definitely looking for Moran and Becker here. Pocket collapses. Oh, I just didn't. Dang, we just weren't able to, you know, hold our blocks, weren't able to plug up the, the gaps. Let's see if Strausser can get us a boomer. Wow, he does. That's going to be a pin in the 20. Great punt. Look at that, 10 first downs, so they're one. But it's only a one. Get him, get him. Let's go, guys. That's how we do it on defense. That's how we do it. What a punt. We should be able to get some points here. I mean, we're starting on their half of the field. High snap. Barry grabs it. Still able to get in there for the first down. Let's keep it going. Let's keep up the speed. Keep the tempo. That's how you follow your blocks right there, gentlemen. It's going to be in a pick. So we're going to just go. We're right in the middle of the field. This should not be a hard kick for Mitchell here. Oh, 
Oh, right down the mark. Oh, that's a good pitch. What are we? Yeah, I mean, look at that. He's two for eight with 80 yards and a touchdown. Good stop. We're going to take a timeout here, get the ball back, try to go down the field and get a score before they get it. Out. Fine with us. I mean, we're going to go into the half up 10. So, you know, if we end the game up winning by 20, that's, I mean, that's a solid, really solid win. So, solid first half. Let's take a look at the stats. First downs, we crushed them. Yards, I mean, pretty... I mean, we really dominated in every category except the score. That's the only thing that's kind of close. Oh, I missed him. But we got him. He's short. Yes. We've just been stalling out, and I think we've just been trying to get too cute. I mean, just look at that. We have a great running back back there. He's a true freshman, and he's an absolute stud. The action passing goal line set. Becker, beautiful catch over the shoulder. Way to find him, Barry. I mean, that's uh, frustrating. Yep, definitely frustrating. Barry's just going to have to do it himself. Gonna try to find Moran here on the goal line. Got him. And what a catch. Wow. And great throw by Barry. Barely able to squeeze it in there between the defender's outstretched arm. Right there, the defender almost made a play. Great focus, great touchdown. And so, oh, wow, their guy got a broken jaw for 11 weeks. He was their best defensive lineman, too. Their fullback's having a real good running day on us. He's averaging five yards a clip. I mean, we knew that was going to go for nothing. We send the blitz nonstop on defense. Yep, once I saw that guy break over the middle, like his the, the man covering him just wasn't there. And their quarterback just got 2,000 of the guy in your face. Oh, tough drop for their guy there. Strausser's going to boom this one. He muffed it. And we got it. Wow. Good break on special teams there. We're just going to run a QB draw here. Go to the fourth quarter up 24-7. Follow your blocks. Fumble. Oh, but we got it. And that's it. We're going to go to the fourth.
Go Barry. I mean, he's got a lot of speed coming out of there. He's got a 46 speed rating. Got, get the first down, and then we're going to keep going no huddle until we get in the end zone. Fumble. We got it. Fourth and inches. We'll take the field goal. Go up by 20. Chip shot, perfect. One of the best defenses in the entire country, let alone the MAC. And that's also why, despite, you know, me being in love with BG and, you know, I'm not looking too far in the future, you know, I would have him for four years after that, so. You know, Bell's definitely primed to be the guy. He's got the he's got the veteran experience. You know, despite not a lot of game experience. Oh, terrible sack there, guys. But despite not a lot of game experience, I mean, he's been on the team. He's been around the guys for four years. So next year being his fifth year, you know, he he's been around the block. Oh, he got it. Wow. Great throw and catch there by the quarterback. Oh, he must have been out of bounds. All right, let's just try to round the clock here. I mean, 27-7, to 7, it's a 20-point win, you know, just like we said at half. You know, if we win by 20, that's going to be a good win. You know, offense didn't do a ton. I mean, 27 points isn't, you know, insane, but, like, you know, you do what you need to do to win. And there you saw Stevenson go over 100 yards there. Great job by Barry to get that ball off. Triple option. Doesn't give it to the fullback. Gets absolutely clobbered. But is able to get it off to Stevenson for a big game. Here we're going to be in the middle of the field. We're just going to take another field goal. We got it. Sully able to grab it in, but we didn't have a whole lot of time there in the pocket. Great strength by Barry to get the ball out of there despite being tackled. Ten and zero, boys. Ten and zero. Yeah, I mean, we didn't slaughter them, but I mean, a 23-point win is a 23-point win. They only scored seven, and it was in the first, like, two minutes of the game.
game stats. I mean, total offense, we we destroyed them. They couldn't run. 14 attempts, 41 yards. Passing, only 7 for 25. I mean, the defense dominated. They only got 7, and it was a great game. Never sacked them, though. But look at there. I mean, 2-11 and 11 on third downs. We weren't great, 6 for 14, but, I mean, 2-11 and 11 is really bad. We fumbled the ball five times and never lost it. Really a sloppy game. Really outpossessed them too, though. I mean, look at that. They scored halfway through the first quarter and then never scored again. Their quarterback, I mean, look at that. He really struggled. Our quarterback, you know, not, not great, not bad. 10 for 21, 120 yards, one touchdown. Real average game. Just doing just enough to win. Rushing obviously did pretty well. Stevenson over 120 yards with a touchdown. Barry had some good runs. Morris had a few. You know, Ruiz went in there, and Bubba obviously came in to get himself a rushing touchdown as well. And then receiving, honestly, no one really had a good game. They definitely didn't count all the drops because there's only three here, and we definitely had more than three. We had, like, seven. But, I, you know, it's a video game. They're not going to count them all. But as you can see here, no one had more than two catches. No one got over 40 or uh, 45 yards. Moran got the only touchdown. So, but hey, that's just how we play. We don't need the the passing attack to always be on if the running game's on. So, you got three field goals. Mitchell had a fine day. Punned the ball five times. But hey, it's a win, and 30 to seven wins a good win. Simulate through the rest of the week here. See if you know any good upsets, any good games. Who do we have next week? Oh, so we have no one, so we'll be able to sim through that week, too. That'll be cool. You know, we have Eastern Michigan next, and they shouldn't really be a problem for us. And then, obviously, we have Toledo to end the year. So we'll take a look here. Oh, Eastern Michigan really laid it on Western Michigan, though. Good for them. Air Force beat Army. UConn actually kept it really close with Virginia. Anything crazy happening here? Arizona State having a pretty good year going eight and two. Buffalo, good win over UCF. UCF's been keeping a lot of their games close, but I mean they're still one and nine. Cal remains winless. Oh, this game. Basically deciding the Mac East over here. Marshall beating Miami. Miami's, yeah, I mean, they're still ranked. You know, their three losses are all ranked opponents who are ranked even higher than them, so. Oh, Ohio State, wow. Totally forgot about this game. Losing their, the, the only team they've ever lost to in the five years of me going through this dynasty is they lost to us this year, and they've lost to Michigan State twice. A two-win Michigan State team got their number, was able to beat them. You know, I guess, you know, going to the Big Ten and taking over a school there, I'm, I mean, I'm probably going either Big Ten or the SEC next, but like I said, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, Mitchell Palooza with a tough loss to Ohio. I really wanted them to make a bowl game this year. They're 5-4. and four. I think they're only playing 11 games this year, so... They're gonna have to probably win their next two and go seven and seven and four to make one. Some close games down here for sure. I mean Toledo destroyed Central Michigan. They're definitely, you know, the only Mac West team that I think can take it from us this year. And then Florida, Vanderbilt is still winless. So we'll actually take a look real quick before I send you guys off here. Team stats, rankings, team standings. I think winless, it's only, yep. Oh, Temple still winless, Cal, and then Vanderbilt. We'll look at the Mac here real quick. Yeah, so Toledo, if they win Let's see, they have, they've played nine games, so they're going to have, I think, one more MAC game. And if they win it, which we'll sim actually through here because we have a bye week, then our game 
on, at the end of the year will once again decide the MAC West. And then over on the East, Marshall, they're six and zero. So I mean, they still got to win, but if they just win one of their next, they should be fine. UCF hasn't won a game yet. They're the only winless team in in the MAC when it comes to the conference play. So we'll actually go through and sim the next week here. That's a big game for us, Toledo. And they won 52 to 17, I saw. It's kind of hard to catch them now while they're running through, but I'll go back and obviously look. Oh, Cal almost beat Washington there. Almost beat a ranked team for their first win. Oh my gosh, we're number two. Wow, someone must have lost. Let's see, Utah moved up to number three. Okay, so Toledo beat Western Michigan. So they should be, our game, the Battle of I-75, should be deciding who goes to the MAC championship game for the second straight year. Marshall killed UConn. Mitchell Palooza with a big win over a, a good Buffalo team, so good for them. They definitely have a chance to make a bowl this year. Oh, but let's focus on, you know, the game at hand. Who lost? Oklahoma? No, they won. Florida won. So that means Miami must have lost. Oh, wow, UCF got their first MAC win against Ohio. Not too surprising. Ohio was really, really bad when we played them. Yep. Wow. Syracuse went in there and beat the number two team in the country. 41-24. So that puts us as number two. And I believe this is going to decide the MAC East. If Even if we lose this game, us and Toledo will both have one MAC loss. So then the winner would just be the tie break. Because I don't think anyone else is close enough. Yeah, no, no one else is, is close enough conference-wise to beat us. So that game will decide the Mac West. But first, we got to play Eastern Michigan, and we got to win, and we got to keep our national title hopes alive. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.